Welcome, my friends, to the Bob and Brad podcast. My name is Mike Keenitz, and I'm a physical therapist assistant. Today, our guest is Dr. Eric Westman, and we're going to be discussing different keto topics. So Dr. Westman is the co-founder of Adapt Your Life and Adapt Your Life Academy, an associate professor of medicine at Duke University Health System and the director of Duke Keto Medicine Clinic in Durham, North Carolina. So without further ado, here is Dr. Westman. All right. Welcome back, Dr. Eric Westman. Thank you. So our first question is, what are some tips and tricks when going keto? Sure. Well, you know, I'm finding a lot of people are making it too complicated. <laughs> the old um, the old way I was taught, which back in the day, 25 years ago now, we didn't really emphasize keto so much. It was keeping the carbs super low. And even though that it is a keto, so keto is really a state of your body. It's not a type of food. You're finding brands of, of keto, uh, this, keto, that, and, and it doesn't mean your body will be in a keto state if you eat those things. <laughs> so uh, I'm finding that people are kind of making things a little too complicated. Just keep the carbs really low and focus on that as the main thing, eating real foods and avoid all of the things called keto and don't measure macros and things like that. that that's just when, when life gets busy, if you have a complicated way of going about things, it's going to fall apart in my experience. Right. And you talk about total carbohydrates uh, intake versus doing net carbs, correct? Yes. And it's more precise. So, and the lower you go on the carbs, the stronger it is. So it's not that net carbs can't work. I've met a lot of people who use net carbs and they do great. It's kind of like an over-the-counter medicine. If you have a mild pain, for example, a ibuprofen from the store is fine. But if you have diabetes, you have a lot of weight to lose, you have a, a tough metabolic problem like metabolic syndrome, then you may find that the net carbs isn't strong enough. And so I use total carbs. So net carbs really just means more carbs. It, you know, the, the calculation is you subtract out the fibers and in some circumstances, sugar alcohols. So I, I often just changing from the net carb to the total carb calculation will make things work for folks. So if you've tried total, excuse me, if you haven't tried total carb, you've just tried net carb, and it's not working for you, it doesn't mean keto doesn't work. It just means that method of calculating the carbs isn't quite strong enough. I, I find when I teach people a, a simple method, 20 grams, that's total carbs per day or less. Some clinics use 30 total carbs or less. It will pretty much work for every, everybody. I mean, if you follow it. You know, and I can't account for those who, who can't seem to follow it. That some For some, it just clicks really easily and others, it, it doesn't. But yeah, I, I use total carbs because it's just more accurate. All right. Where can people find more information about you at? My website is ericwestmanmd.com. So that's E-R-I-C-W-E-S-T-M-A-N-M-D.com. And you can find the different resources we have there. We have a, a page, we have a book, we have a, uh, courses you can take on the internet. The company I started, Adapt Your Life, and the Adapt Your Life Academy has resources, free YouTube videos at Adapt Your Life YouTube channel. Um, and you can take courses that we open from time to time at the Adapt Your Life Academy. So we've tried to give our information and teaching in many different ways. And of course, you can see me at Duke University going through the uh, you know clinical program there. I have to warn you that there's a bit of a wait to get in. I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's why one reason why we created this company to get information to people who can't make the trip to Durham. All right. You're just getting too popular, I guess. Well, or the approach is getting popular. <laughs> One of the two, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've trained a number of doctors who created practices like this around the country, and um, that's exciting to see. Uh, so we need to train many more people in this uh, this way. Really, I, I use lifestyle. I, I use 
food predominantly. Uh, some people come to me, they can't exercise. So when I say lifestyle, I really mean diet, you know, the nutrition. Uh, and I get to take away medicines. I don't give medicines like most of my colleagues anymore. Right. Well, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure.